Auctions, high value items, one off transactions, anonymous bidding. The perfect place to launder money. Sold. Here is a typical example of how laundering through auction can work. First, the launderer distributes the proceeds of their crimes to a network of agents who either pay it into their own accounts or retain it in cash. The agents then bid at the auction, be it in person, by proxy or by phone. Or nowadays, of course, it could be an online auction. They'll be bidding for high value assets like real property, cars or fine art, either in their name or under an alias. Money laundering through an uh, auction can be part of the layering process. Uh, for example, the property the agents have bought is sold on and the proceeds reinvested, or it can be integration, so the art or the car or whatever goes to the launderer for their own personal enjoyment. Auctions can be used in a variety of ways. Cash purchases can be used to place criminal cash into the system. But auctions might also be used as a vehicle for buying a lot of different high-value items and then trading them on almost immediately in exchange for clean money to reinvest elsewhere. It goes without saying that the kinds of auctions that money launderers are most likely to be interested in are the ones where high-value items are being offered, such as fine art, cars, antiques or real estate, both property and land. Having said that, Auctions of lower value goods can also provide a ready marketplace for criminal gangs to offload stolen property in exchange for hard cash cars, for example. Online auction sites are a relatively new phenomenon, so they have the added attraction that they're not, as yet, subject to rigorous regulation. 